Hello everybody, my name is Lance CS. Welcome back to the second episode of Journey Mode Terraria. Um, in the last episode, we I think we just finished building this house. That's really all we did. Um, we managed to get uh, a little bit of armor, a little bit of tools, basic house going. We didn't do a ton though. So today I have plans. I want to expand the house a bit, try to get a few more NPCs, and also maybe try to explore a bit more, you know, try to find some chests, maybe get some, uh, I forgot what they're called, like flurry boots, why are their ads popping up. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go for a bit of a run this way, because I want to see, um, like what's down this way. I just want to explore a bit more, because if we look at our map here, um, I forgot how to get to your map. There we go. There's really not a lot. We have, we haven't explored hardly anything. So I'm going to go down here and take a look at that. Ooh, we got, um, uh, umbrella slime here. Ooh, it's a pink tree. I don't think I've seen this yet. I'm actually going to get this wood. Cause it looks, I think it's a different kind of wood. What it looks like. Nope. Never mind. I just destroyed the cool tree. Never mind. Oh, that's sad. Oh, we got a yellow tree. That's nice. Got a blue slime here. Ooh, we have another pink tree. Let's go. Good, good. Pink trees are very nice. Oh, there's a pot down here. I'll actually take this just because. Uh, there we go. Got it. Also, guys, at the time of recording this video, we are at 969 subscribers. That's insane. That's uh, like 30 away from a thousand in monetization. So thank you guys so much for that. That's just really awesome. Oh, I also apologize for laggy frame rate and stuff. Again, I'm using OBS. And as you guys know, Traria likes to crap out when I record. Uh, we did find a chest though here. Uh, another wooden boomerang. We have some tin bars, arrows, recall potions, silver coins, and wood. Um, the recall potions aren't that very useful to me considering I already have a mirror, but I'm just going to take them anyway. Um, you never know when I might accidentally lose my mirror. I, I apologize about that, guys. The uh, random cut there. OBS just actually crashed for some reason. I don't know why, but you know, I had to reboot it and what have you, so I apologize about that. But we're back in. We're just still exploring. Um... Man, I wish that Terraria just worked like normal again and didn't screw, curse my game. OBS, Terraria is just a curse to OBS for me. And it's really annoying, actually. These are supposed to be torches. Uh, so I can see what's actually going down. Ooh, we've got another chest. That's good. Uh, a jagged step stool. Uh, I will actually equip that because I have some space. Healing potion is shurikens. Rope, grenade, uh, and a builder potion. Okay. I'm not going to take the recall potions this time because they're just not that necessary. Also, guys, I just forgot to say in the beginning of the video, I do also want to see if we can maybe fight the Eye of Cthulhu or at least have an arena for him in this episode. Because if we can't actually fight him and kill him in this episode, I'd like to at least have an arena going uh, already for next episode when we fight him. Ooh, we're going to actually pretty deep down. Now I'm getting a little bit worried. Uh, I'll get this ore here. I also want to go for cactus armor, actually, though, because that's actually a really quick and easy source uh, of decent armor. So I think I'm actually going to retreat out of this cave for now and, like I said, go looking for cactus. I think that's going to be my best bet right now for armor. Oh, okay, we're going into the corruption now. Oh, boy. I was woefully unprepared for this. Oh, another chest. Let's go. Uh, rope, shuriken, lesser healing potion, iron skin potion, and some more wooden torches. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, I'm not gonna go too far down here because I really don't want to take on the stronger enemies of the corruption, like the like the blood crawlers and stuff. They're just I I'm not really prepared. Oh Hello boy. There. These are the guys that I was not prepared for at all. These guys always give me a really hard time. Go away! Hey, I don't like you. Set of flowers? Alright, I think we're out of the corruption now. Out of the corruption. Good. Okay, thank goodness. Ooh, this is a background that I have not seen before. We've reached the snow biome in this world. Let's just keep going on. There's one enemy. Nope, never mind. There's no enemies nearby. All right, we got another cave. Can we get another chest? That would actually be awesome. Oh, boy. Uh, no, we can't get any chests, but we did get a ton of pots, which is actually really good. Um, so I think I'm gonna have to stay up night and actually kill some, um, eyeballs, whatever they're called. I actually forget their name. They might just be called eyeballs. You know, you know what I'm talking about, the flying eyeball enemies. Um, because I need some irises to craft the, uh, suspicious looking eye. Oh, man, why is there more corruption here? I really, dang it. Wow, that is a lot of vicious mushrooms, dang. 
Oh, and my game froze for a second. Just couldn't handle the blood crawler. You can die, sir. Or I can just run away. Actually, yeah, I'm going to do that. When we have water here. And we have a desert. That's good. This is what I've been looking for. Oh, we do have some vultures, though, which I don't want to encounter. And some more criteria. I can't pronounce their names ever. What are they called? Crit Cremera. Cremera? I'm probably pronouncing it so wrong. I just really want to get out of this area so I can stop fighting these stinking flying boys. Alright. Um, this is the cactus that I need to get. I think you actually have to use... I forget how to harvest it. Die. Die, 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 die. Thank you. Okay. Or is it an axe? It is an axe. Okay. I always forget how to harvest cactus. But here, once we get this, we can actually... This is now we can get some really good cactus armor. Well, it's not really good, but it's better than the wood armor that we have currently. Jeez, back off. Ooh, and this is actually the temple thingy with the old man. This is where you fight Skeletron, which is good, which is good. Uh, we know where that is now. Uh, Cthulhu's just chilling back there. Hi, buddy. Um, I'm just going to avoid this whole thing for now because I'm definitely not ready for the Cthulhu fight. Alright, so I'm just going to head home now that I got the, um, the cactus because I just want to make some cactus armor as the next step. So I'm going to come in here, uh, cactus, oh, I'm going to make the cactus, I don't even have enough to make a cactus chest plate, okay, never mind, we're going to go back out, actually, uh, I pro, uh, I'm stupid, you know, we're going to go the other way, maybe there's a desert sooner, because that desert's, like, a long, long way away, hopefully there's something over here, this is a desert, yes, I knew it, there's always a desert nearby somewhere, Alright, so we need a significant amount of cactus, actually. Two thousand years later. Alright, and that was the last cactus. Hopefully that's enough to make the armor now, because if not, I'm gonna have to go all the way to the other desert, and I really don't want to do that. Uh, let's go to the leggings next. And yes, we have just enough to make a full set. That's great. Alright, let's pop this on. Oh, it looks nice. Um, and this does, how much does it do? 11 melee damage. How much does the sword do? Eight. All right, that's actually not as good. All right, I will store all of this in here. I don't really need any of this on me right now. Oh wait, I'm taking all this stuff out. Oh, I did the backwards. Oops. Okay. Um, I am out of room. I need to make. Sh can you just guys like? Can you just stop, please? Your pounding is so annoying. So our inventory is cleared up. Now we just gotta wait off the night. I'm gonna start building an arena first, and once we have a basic arena down, then I'm gonna end this video. Uh, we have to clear our area first, actually, so I'm just gonna clear out this little section right here. Break this little section here. That almost hit me, jeez. Alright, I'll be back with you guys once I finish the main bulk of this uh, structure. Alright, and lastly, I'm just going to add in a couple of fireplaces in the center of this so that we can be regenerating health during the fight. Alright, so this is our arena that we're going to be using for fighting the Eye of Cthulhu. It's not the best, um, but it's enough. It'll get us by uh, with being able to fly up and down and drop down to dodge his uh, attacks. So, but I'm going to start actually fighting him for the next episode. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on the video. That would be much appreciated. And subscribe. We are so close to 1k. Let's reach that. I am so excited for that. Thank you guys so much. Uh, make sure to join my Discord. And apart from that, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye.